In the Arctic, um, since I've been doing work there since 1990, uh, there has been a dramatic change. And uh, of course, over that time interval, you always have concerns that you're just seeing a, um, some kind of natural variation. Nonetheless, in 1990, uh, at our base camp, which is at 75 degrees north, uh, you would never dream in July of walking around without a parka on. Now, uh, oftentimes, people walk around in t-shirts. This is the warmest season I've seen uh, in the high Canadian Arctic in the last 18 years. This is uh, July 2nd, 2008, uh, and it's extremely warm in, in the 60s uh, at this latitude. In general, in the Arctic, we see this as being a region that uh, could be most affected by climate change. The planet is sick. It's often said that the planet now is running a fever. In Guatemala, there's the notion that if the child is sick, that the family is sick, and that I am you, and you are my, you are me. And it would be the same with it in the case of the forest. If the forest is sick, the village is sick. But unlike the indigenous people, when the forest is sick, we are sick. And here on this larger scale, the planet is sick, but there's not this consciousness that, that we are sick. 